today I'm going to be making coffee using this A. Ooh. Ready for this puppy? Oh no, no, you're muddy. <laughs> Careful. No. Now it's probably a really good time to say if you want to support the channel, Puppy Kai really wants to go on an adventure. I know Kai, I know. I'm making coffee now. Okay. <gasps> We got the grinder. We have the best coffee I could get. This wasn't sponsored. Um, well, Joe, if you see this, I'll be doing other coffee videos. We got a pot, measuring cup, water. We got a cup, pasture-raised eggs, and a Coleman two-burner propane stove. I looked this up just the other day, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Four cups of water. Four. Second, we need about one cup of our delicious Wojo's -Oh Joe's Texas coffee. Look at We're gonna that. grind this up, we want a coarse right. grind. Think like French press, coarse. Okay, now, the key is actually the shell. Something inside of the eggshell is supposed to extract that bitter taste inside of coffee. I don't know how true that is. And where we're gonna be making it today, I don't know if this is true or not, but supposedly back in the day, cowboys actually used to boil the eggs. They would drink the coffee and eat the eggs. That's pretty, that's pretty minimalist. This might be my new favorite meal. It's gonna be egg flavored coffee, eggs. You guys are gonna find out how amazing it is. Me as a coffee connoisseur, yes, I do drink black coffee sometimes when it's good. I have a cup see, see through cup so I can prove it. Water's boiling now, so we're gonna turn this guy off. So you never wanna make coffee in boiled water, even if it's a coffee. It's too hot, you burn the coffee. You wanna wait about 30 seconds for that water to kinda simmer down. We got a coarse ground coffee right there. Dump that right in. Now, I don't know how many eggs we're supposed to use. Let's go for three. I'm gonna crumple the shell. Inside of that coffee. Okay, so the coffee's already been probably sitting for about a minute, so I'm gonna set the timer for about four minutes. Right, so apparently there's a trick to this. All the grounds are sitting on top right now. Supposedly, if I dump just a little bit of cold water on top, it'll sink all the grounds to the bottom, so I'm just gonna do that. That'll stir it up or sink them more to the bottom. I'm gonna pour it in now, moment of truth, people. It looks like tea, like all the tea leaves. Who drinks this? Mm. Can you see the egg in there? Weirdest cup of coffee I've ever made. It smells actually kind of good. It's a little different. You can definitely smell the egg now. It's weird. It's almost kind of bland. Let me see if I can, I wanna get some of this egg out of here, actually. The guy wasn't very clear, it has coffee grounds in it, but, oh, it's burning my hand, I'm gonna put it in my mouth for oh. Okay, so the egg is actually really good, but I think it's just cause it's poached. There's like no coffee to it. It's just like a poached egg. Um, there's better ways to make coffee, guys. Not my thing. Now there is other ways I've seen people make egg coffee. Apparently it's a traditional thing in some places. Not here. But I did, I did it, you know, I tried it. <laughs> Who does that? But that is all for today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on how to make different kinds of coffee or something else weird, any weird things, comment down below and I'll, I'll try something.